Hey guys, welcome to American Beer TV. We're doing uh, something a little different here. We uh, are doing a beer we kind of already done, uh, yeah, but this is Puka this is Cobra. This is Puka Chov's Cobra. But this is Puka Chov. Puka Chov. Puka Chov's Cobra. Cobra. We 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 got uh, no corrected o. on our last video. There's no O, so whatever. We got and corrected on our last so video. So whatever. Puka Chov. So uh, we did. So, anyway, this is the 2012 batch that he was saving, and we ha he has it on draft right now. And so uh, we thought yeah, we'd revisit this. Yeah, I got a keg of this in, I want to say, October. Okay. Cooler. Forget just about it. Saved it. Yeah. I put duct tape around the label so I don't know what it is. Yeah. And just sits on a keg. <laughs> just kidding. I mean, it's one thing, okay, we, we were talking about sitting on bottles and whatnot, an aging <laughs> bottle, whatever. He'll sit on a fucking keg of Puka Jobs. That's a little nuts. But it anyway. hasn't been that long. It's not like a year. Yeah. So 15.8% this yes. year. Yeah, last um, year I think was 16.1 or something. Yeah, something. My yeah. memory serves me correctly. So uh, uh, bourbon barrel aged stout from Hangar 24. So we've obviously Redlands. tasted this beer before, yeah. but I haven't tasted it tonight. So. so there you go. It's a new tasting every time. So there we go. Wow. Tons of bourbon on the, on the nose on that one. Um, it's a little fun bit to heat. give people samples that don't. Like, it's cool to have it on draft because then people are like, they're all, what's that beer that's 15.8%? What is that? And you're like, I want to taste it? And they're like, sure. And you let them taste it. They go, oh my God. I've never tasted Mind anything blown. like this. Yeah, it's like, oh my God. Yeah, he's blown so, mind over yeah, it's really cool. I give them like, I just let them like, Lick the wet glass. their palate. That's about it. I'm like, nah. you do realize how expensive this stuff is, right? No, but, no, that's cool. That's what craft beer is all about. Yeah. It's about sharing. So, so. Cool. But yeah, this one, uh, I get the vanilla and mm -hmm. chocolate. You get some roastiness coming through. You get the stout and a, mm -hmm. the stout quality to it. I mean, yeah, I would really like to, and maybe one of these days we gotta, we gotta, we gotta hit up the guys at Hangar Twenty Four yeah, and taste yeah. the beer before they put it in the barrel. Well, we did that with because Hammerhead. we got to, yeah, we got to taste Hammerhead, Hammerhead when it was one. really young. But we tasted, mm -hmm. we tasted Pugachev. Like yeah. maybe about three months before they bottled it, right. but it was pretty much. We there. weren't allowed to. But we, we weren't got allowed to taste to, uh, Hammerhead before they put right. it in the barrels. We, we weren't allowed cool. to uh, to to show that on camera, the Pukachevs, Pukachevs. But we did have the the Hammerhead, so it's really cool. And then we brought in Joe, and we did a video with him, and we sat down with him and talked about all the nuances of the Hammerhead. So yeah. those are a couple of older videos that we've done. So you know, Joe's been really really cool with talking to us about. Every, his barrel aging program and what he's trying to get out of it and why he's choosing the barrels that he's choosing. So yeah. it's really cool to sit down and with I know, and pick the I know, I think this year they did uh, a segment of their barrels were uh, rye whiskey barrels. Yeah. Because if you look up on... Well, ha Hammerhead, beer, Hammerhead is half rye. Right. But, I, I, but if you look up on Ray Beer, there's a little thing that says... Pugachev's Cobra but Rye. So maybe they did like yeah, a, a rye version or something, or something like, that. like that. You know, I think so. And then I, I do, it wouldn't surprise me if part of this was in rye yeah. because it does have that little bit of a spicy note to it that you sometimes get from the rye whiskey barrels instead of the bourbon barrels. Yeah, I get a ton of the roastiness yeah. more than like, you know, some of the um, barrel aged stouts have that really sweet vanilla yeah and this doesn't have so yeah much some roastiness has, and just, spice yeah and like serious alcohol let's drink it yeah Cheers. yeah so this beer just completely coats your mouth mm -hmm. yeah like first thing you notice front to back it's you're just right. like first thing you notice is the viscosity i mean at the at this level <laughs> Mouthfeel becomes viscosity, <laughs> so it's just thick and, and rich. Um, at the same time, it is pretty warm. I'm also getting lots of coffee flavor on this. Lots and lots of coffee. The coffee with the dark, dark, dark mm -hmm. chocolate. Like coffee, some dark chocolate. cocoa. Um, and I think a little bit of, at the end of it, the cocoa. finish is a little bit of the vanilla from the, from the bourbon notes. Like kind of like a, if you had a, a vanilla latte kind yeah. of thing. So... Uh, yeah, it's kind you of what get the finish the, is. You get the bourbon on the nose, mm -hmm. and then when you drink it, eh, yeah, I, it doesn't like taste as hot so as crazy. it smells. Yeah. It smells pretty hot. You, you, it smells like there's just a ton of alcohol in there. It just smells yeah. like booze. Yeah, like, but then the flavor, it's not, it's not quite, it's not that, uh, it's not hot in terms of flavor. Mm -hmm. 
It's surprising yeah, so how any, much the coffee is. Yeah, I so think. anytime you get a beer really above 10%, mm -hmm. you really start to get that alcohol. What is the a phenol alcohol? The, 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 um, the fusel alcohol. Fusel alcohol, yeah. It, it like has that kind of burning sensation. Fusel oils. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Fusel oils. Um, but, yeah, but for 15 points. 15.8. I, mean, I mean, mean, this is stronger than most wines you're going to pick up. Oh, yeah. Know? Yeah, this is most starting to approach the port category. What, 13, 13 and a half. So this 12, is, if you're, you know, well, basic 11 to 12. Stuff, yeah. yeah. So, Any, like, yeah, California wines. Now now we're getting into port ca character. But, right. and this, this I think this does compete with ports. Yeah, I mean, this, this is, yeah, you, you get know. a little bit of that. A little bit of that fruitiness, but it's more yeah. along the lines of the. There is some fruitiness to it. There is some of the dark fruit, some of the, but more more vanilla than anything. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm just it's funny. I'm not picking up coffee in the nose very much, right? But in the flavor, that's what. There's a lot of things going on, and they're they're equal. But I think the number one flavor I'm getting is is coffee. And then so do you ever bitterness? Do you ever the, get like you know, like a black coffee and put a little shot of bourbon? Black coffee. I have been known to do that. <laughs> it's kind of has some similarities there. Yeah, yeah. I've been a little doing, bit of sugar, some southern comfort black. in your coffee. Yeah. 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 It's nice stuff. Now the nose after drinking it. Yeah. Now you go back into the nose and it starts to change a little bit more. Yeah, it's it still, it's still pretty hot. Bourbon. The, the nose, nose is, yeah. is, is 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 somewhat hot, sure. and I'm wondering if if just continued continued aging would mellow that out. But I don't know. You've already let it age for like six months after they've let it age. You yeah, know? So, and I think this one is about ten months in barrels. Yeah, something like that. So cool. So they brew it. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like a year long process. They yeah. Oh yeah. It, so the the barrel aging thing, process is is. You know, that that's one of the things. That's one of the reasons people are always like, "Why is it so expensive?" Well, you got to realize you're taking this beer and they're setting it aside for eight to ten months, and they're Storing they have to pay, it. you know, yeah, rent, rent on on, yeah. on on wherever that is, and then it's sitting there. So we, you know, figured out for like most most breweries are operating on like a fifteen barrel brew house. The brewery does, uh, Hangar Twenty Four does. Uh, you know, most breweries, most of the craft breweries right now, about a 15 barrel brew house. So it takes about for a regular beer, it takes about two grand to to brew a batch of regular beer. Well, a beer of this caliber, you know, you're gonna at least double that because of the sheer amount number of malts and hops and all all that stuff. So you're talking about four grand, and you want to talk about cash flow. You're set, taking four grand of your money and setting it aside for a year and not touching it, and and that just messes up a brewery's cash flow. Right. A small local brewery and whatnot. And they're hoping that... I should do that with work. tacos, man. I don't think aging tacos yeah, would work. that's a good idea. No. We should do some barrel-aged tacos. <laughs> it's a barrel... More fun than a barrel of tacos! It'll be like... It'll be like, it'll be like 20... It'll be like $25 tacos. <laughs> I don't know if that would work. No, it'd be terrible. It's I, a bad I, idea. I think, I, think, I think it is. I need to stop nope. drinking this shit. <laughs> barrel-aged tacos. Yeah. And then you'd have different, you know, bourbon barrel aged taco versus yeah. brandy barrel aged yeah. taco That's versus a good idea. red Crap wine tacos. barrel aged taco. It's a great idea. No, no, I don't think so. But if any of you want to do it, that's fine. Go for it. Or we could make sauces with the barrel aged beer. Yeah, you could do that. I saw someone make a Black Tuesday cupcake. Ooh. They used, I'm like, oh, you must have a lot of bottles made, sticking um, around. I made stone IRS ice cream. You did? Yep. It was really good. You make coffee ice cream, basically, instead of adding coffee, I added stone IRS, and it came out freaking awesome. Yeah, and we haven't seen this here. No. Why? Because I'm shady like that. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, guys. That's Iron Chef for you. Do a stone IRS ice cream right there. Michael Simon would be all over that. Yeah. So, anyway, awesome. guys. Cheers. Cheers. Puka Chops Cobra. We've talked about a lot of weird stuff, but bottom line, get out there and drink some amazing bourbon barrel aged beers. Woohoo!